In this video, we're going to be rewriting with positive exponents. So we can use the properties of exponents to help us do this. If we take a look at our first example, we have x to the negative 1. But if you chance to see a negative, do not let it stay. Quickly turn it upside down and take the negative away. So what does that mean? Well, it means that when we see this negative symbol, it can't go there. And right now, our x is like a whole number. Okay, x over, oh, sorry, x to the negative 1 over 1. So we want to flip that, meaning that the numerator will become the denominator. And what that's going to make is an x. And remember, we take the negative away, so it's just going to be a positive 1 on the bottom. But you can't just leave nothing on the top in the numerator spot. So because there wasn't anything to be left there, we put a 1 there. And this becomes our simplified solution. So let's take a look at b. How, how can that be different or changed? Here we see a negative 2 in the denominator. So again, if we see a negative, we can't let it stay, so we're going to turn it upside down. We're going to move it to the other side. So here, our x to the negative 2 is going to move up because the 3 is not being raised to the negative 2, just the x. So in this instance, our x to a positive 2 is going to move to the top, but the 3 is going to stay in the denominator spot. Now, we could write the 1 there, but we usually don't do that. So we're going to go ahead and take that away. So we're left with x squared over 3, and there's nothing else to combine. And so this is going to be our simplified solution. So how is that different from letter C? Well, in letter C, there are parentheses around the 3 and the x as it's being raised to the negative 2 power, which means that all of it is being raised to the negative 2, which means that everything in the denominator needs to move up to the top. So again, it's, that 1 is still there, so we're going to move up the 3x. It's going to be a positive squared now, but again, we can't leave nothing in the denominator, we have to put something there. So we're going to put a 1. Now we don't usually write things like that. This simplifies out to a 3x quantity squared. And that's going to be our simplified solution. So let's look at letter D. That's where it starts to get a little bit more complex. Because here we can see that we have whole numbers in the front without any exponents. So we can just take 12. Well, let's set up a fraction first because we know things are going to have to move because we see negatives in the denominator and the numerator. So what is 12 divided by 4? That's right. It's a 3. So that's going to go in the top. So now, so it appear there's a little a missing from my problem. So let me just add that in really quick. That's supposed to be there. So now we look at our next set of bases, which are a's. We have a's right here. And we see that this a has a negative sign. So we're going to move that up to the top. So our a to the third can stay there. And our a squared is going to move up to the top. And that 2 is going to become a positive now. So if we look at our next set of bases, our b's, we see that we have a positive b in the bottom change that color real quick. So a positive b in the bottom, that's not going to move. But our b to the negative 4 is going to have to move down. So b to the positive 4 will move down then. And now we just need to combine our like term. So nothing's going to affect the 3. However, our a's are matching bases. So we're going to take their exponents and we get to add them. So that's going to become a to the fifth power. And then something similar is going to happen down in our denominator, because here we have a b to the first power. And so here we see that we have the same bases, so we're going to get to add their exponents. That's going to give us b to the fifth power. And now we're done. That's the simplified answer. And there are some other ways to have done that problem, but that's the way that it came to me right now. Let's look at our next problem. 
here we see a negative 2 is our exponent. It's on the outside, which means that negative 2 is going to go to everything inside, which means we can actually rewrite this as 3 to the negative 2 power and then an x squared to the negative 2 power all over y to the negative 2 power. So that's one way to think about it. That can be a lot of work. So there's a little trick that we can do. So what we're going to do is let's get rid of this and I'll show you the trick. Okay. So when you have a negative exponent on the outside and you're dealing with a fraction, all you have to do is switch the bottom to the top and the top to the bottom and then take away that negative sign. So we can actually rewrite this as y over 3x squared to the positive 2 power. And now we can distribute that to and all of our negatives are gone. So we just have to simplify now. So we have y squared over 3 squared and then an x squared squared. There we go. Now it's easier to see those twos. So we simplify that and the numerator is going to stay a y squared because that can't be simplified or put with anything else. 3 squared is actually the number 9 because 3 times 3 is 9. And then as we look at our x, we have an x with a power raised to another power, which means we get to multiply those two numbers together, which is going to leave us with an x to the fourth power. And now nothing else can be simplified and there's no negatives, which means we've done our job and we are finished.